Hello, my name is Mel de Villiers, Vice Dean and Associate Dean for Academic Affairs in the School of Pharmacy. I'm extremely proud to recognize students who have completed educational offerings beyond their PharmD degree. These offerings are in our Scholars in Pharmacy program. This program started in 2018 and helped PharmD students plan individual learning and research experiences through scholarly concentrations within the curriculum. These areas of academic focus are designed to ground the student's education in an area of passionate interest. Current offerings include non-credit -bear bearing paths of distinction, credit bearing certificates, academic minors, and dual degrees. The goal of all these programs is to enhance student satisfaction with the study of pharmacy and to foster a lifelong commitment to investigation and interdisciplinary thinking. These programs provide opportunities for pharmacy students to acquire in-depth knowledge in an area of inquiry or produce a scholarly product in their areas of interest under the guidance of an expert faculty member or practitioner. The first program in the Scholars of Pharmacy is the Certificate in Fundamentals of Clinical Research. This program provides formalized training and a practicum in research design and statistical analysis for clinical research in healthcare and pharmaceutical industry settings. The program advisor is uh, Dr. Randall Kimpel. Uh, he is the faculty director of the ICTER program in clinical research and associate professor of human oncology in the School of Medicine and Public Health. The following students completed this certificate. Ye Hang Choi, Erica Terry, Kong Wang, Vincent Wharton Wilder. The next program is the Certificate in Global Health, which focuses on global health topics and health issues that transcend national boundaries, emphasizing health and disease in developing countries. Through global health field experience, graduates uh, prepare to address health disparities in the context of cultural diversity. The program advisor is uh, Dr. Christopher Olson. He's the director of the Professional Certificate in Global Health uh, in, within the UW Madison Global Health Institute and also a professor emeritus from the School of Veterinary Medicine. The following students are recognized for completing this certificate. Michelle Benson. Jenna Shushelsky, Alexandra Larson Osborne, Yian Su. Next, we'll recognize students who've completed a path of distinction in research. This path of distinction focuses on additional experiences and requirements to develop research skills for pharmacists and seeks to provide students mentoring and opportunities to integrate pharmacy and research. In this program, each student works with an individual faculty mentor. The first student recognized 
for completing the path of distinction in research is Anna Aycock. Her mentor is Dr. Warren Rose, Associate Professor in Pharmacy Practice. Next is Stephen Emmerling. His mentor is Dr. Natalie Smith, an assistant professor in the Pharmacy Practice Division. Caitlin Reiter. Her mentor is Dr. Mary Haney, a professor in the Pharmacy Practice Division. Uh, you notice that Caitlin worked on two separate projects. Next, Aijen Urmart. Mentor is also Dr. Mary Haney, a professor in the Pharmacy Practice Division. Vincent Wharton Weiler. Uh, his mentor is Dr. Cody Winter, Assistant Professor in Pharmacy Practice Division and Pharmaceutical Sciences Division. Next, we'll recognize students who have completed the Path of Distinction in Leadership. This Leadership Certificate is a partnership with the Center for Leadership Involvement at UW-Madison and provide leadership training that is theoretical, practical, and experimental. Um, the, each student in the program is paired with a mentor, giving them access to a wealth of knowledge for personal growth and professional development. The program advisors are Larry Jolan, Leadership Development Specialist, Center for Leadership and Involvement, and then Nate McLean, the Program Advisor for the Scholarship in Pharmacy program. First student to recognize for completing this leadership path of distinction is Tyler Albright. His mentor is Brian Schobert. Matthew Bemis, mentor Alex Peasley. Lauren Finley, mentor Susie Barnett. Carly Gillis, mentor Megan Hine. Lucas Grabowski, mentor Matt Hustad. Kristen Hesselbach, mentor Trisha Says Renola. Jane Hurt, mentor Laurie Jensen. Kayla Judson, mentor Andrea Porter. Rachel Kent, Mentor Beth Martin. Shelby Kane. Mentor Rebecca Feltner.
Austin Lang, Mentor Ken Tennyson, Ka Sheng Li, Mentor Luisa Kerstenetsky. Shona McKenzie, mentor Tucker Stewart. Alexis Mori, mentor Christina Heimro. Cassie Sedgwick, mentor Stephanie Gruber. Diana Soma, mentor Sharon Faust. Stacy Stone, mentor Haley Kieser, Abby Weaver, mentor Erika Wagner. Brittany Youngchild. Mentor Julie Bartel, Mong Chi Zhang, Mentor Kate Rotzenberg. Next, we'll recognize some of the academic minors that's tied to the FAMD program. The first is the named option, uh, Operations, uh, Technology and Management. This program involves a unique partnership between the School of Pharmacy and the School of Business. It provides unparalleled student learning opportunities in healthcare leadership and management. It is recognized as a distinguished subspecialization within the PharmD degree and is so noted on the student's transcript. The credits earned in this program, uh, students can also later use towards obtaining a master's in business administration at the School of Business. The program advisor from the School of Business is Steve Boder. Steve is a faculty associate in the Wisconsin School of Business. First student recognized is Tyler Albright. Alexandra Falk. Kayla Judson, Rachel Kent, Shelby Kane. Samantha Lewiston, Harpreet Sandhu, Diana Soma.
Andrew Sonsala Joseph Warson Kyle Weiner Next, we'll recognize the students who've completed the named option in rural health. This named option provides graduates opportunities to explore innovative pharmacy practice in a rural setting and serve their rural communities through expanding novel patient care models, collaborating with interprofessional colleagues, and developing a practice model true to the Wisconsin idea. It is recognized as a distinction um, and a subspecialization within the PharmD degree and is so noted on the student's transcript. The program advisor and director is Dr. Ed Portello, an assistant professor in the pharmacy practice division. First student to recognize completing this rural health named option is Caleb Bolwick. Emily Blessinger. Carly Bonen. Kira Chesney Sarah Konjerski Courtney De Kaiser Hannah Felt Hacker, Taylor Hauser, Anna Latos. Mackenzie McCauley, Morgan Plato, Peter Roth. Matthew Stevens, Reed Van Geisel, Genevieve Van Order, Brittany Young Child. Finally, we'll recognize those students who've completed the Master's in Public Health and the PharmD degree. Um, the Master's in Public Health is intended to provide students currently enrolled in the PharmD program the expertise needed to integrate knowledge and skills in the delivery of pharmaceutical care with public health uh, principles. Uh, this year, three students completed both the PharmD and the Masters in Public Health. The program advisors is Dr. Mary Haney, Professor in Pharmacy Practice Division in the School of Pharmacy, and Mindy Schreiner, Student Service Coordinator, Dual Degree Program, School of Medicine and Public Health.
The first student that completed the Masters in Public Health for 2021 is Michelle Benson. Hannah Schultz also completed both degrees. And finally, Amanda Yang also completed the PharmD and the Masters in Public Health. This concludes our program, um, recognizing those students who have completed a Scholars and Pharmacy program and their PharmD degrees. I want to end also by congratulating all the students and also thanking all the mentors, faculty advisors and staff that makes these programs possible for our students. On Wisconsin.